May this be an oasis of love in the middle of a storm. Enamored by the way she walked in her womanhood like Onten, head up, shoulders back, face with the light of endurance glistening. She walked with grace like she knew her body was home. Everyone has their own yellow brick road. Finding it and staying on the right path is the hardest part. Generally, it's about standing up for something you believe in. It's about young womanhood and all those things that come with it. And honestly, the story of a little girl who just wanted to dress people who wanted to make people feel like they mattered. This is Fashion Design Life. my mother's mouth and my father's eyes on my face they're still together what is judgment but the manifestation of disappointment projecting insecurity onto others relentlessly catapulting your heroes to places they never asked to be holding them on a pedestal so high you steal their humanity judging their walk thinking that the world is crumbling down over an image you can't maintain that you thought defined you. You think you're the smarter girl. You go to one of the best schools in the city. You think that you are pretty. You have it all together, go about things the right way, want popularity. On your way to school every day, you pass another high school. In your mind, this school reeked of rejects of your school who couldn't keep up. Because everyone knows that when a student's GPA drops and they get kicked out, many go right down the streets of this school. It reeked of ugly uniforms and lack of opportunity to you because obviously environment equals talent, clearly resources equal skill, and people should absolutely be judged for what they have, where they go, versus who they are. You dreamed of getting to this magical world of high school and becoming all that you thought you should be, because growing up in a conscious and family type environment can get frustrating for a wannabe, being surrounded by teachers who sound of mama and baba who only want you to manifest all the light that's inside you. The light that keeps spilling out to your demise, the light you feel keeps getting in the way of your coolness. Being in an environment where you're getting in trouble sounds like Kalima. You're acting other than yourself. Hey, well if it takes acting other than myself to get what I want, I'm cool with it. I'll play my role. But what happens when you realize none of this actually even feels good to you? When you think the put together happy black family image is taken away. When ninth grade biology and the thought of being engulfed in so much science and math kill your acceptable doctor goals. You choose, you choose lawyer as a goal thinking it can equate. You choose to transfer your 10th grade year to a different school. Then because of personal complications have to leave again. You want to return back to your original high school but of course you couldn't because of full enrollment. You're stuck. But isn't that how life goes? Because what is the story of God shaping you without you having to go right down the streets of the school you ridiculed? The school you thought was less than? The school that you thought you would never go to? What builds humility other than looking as if you flunked out and could only turn here, putting on that uniform, enrolling in classes you're graduating from here, your mother says. Tears of shame drench your face, embarrassment, anger. There is nothing for your pride to feed on here. Look how large the expense is for seeking validation. Look how you have to turn against yourself to even strive for it. And even after paying, there is no guarantee it will get to you. There is no confirmation email. There is no tracking number. This type of thing is a gamble of one of the greatest kinds. Because even if it comes at a wobble, it'll be broken, won't be what you expect. It won't look like the picture. The customer service will be absolutely terrible. There is no return policy. All you can do is take the pieces and make them your own, make use out of them. We love the idea that there is someone or something else outside of ourselves that is the answer to our heart's longing, that will validate us in a way only our creator can. But you have an essence, that which has been with you from the beginning. And nothing is satisfying about playing your role when you were created to live your purpose. But just as new freshman hallways turn into senior like a clean out, healing comes. And these days I realize the only thing constant in life is change. That I don't want to go here can turn into life changing experiences if your heart is open. That reality has a way of being much kinder than the lies we make up about it. That when you feel like all of your false senses of validation are gone, you lean on truth in a greater way. You resolve to commit to only that which makes you happy. 
that you don't have to know it all and there's much solace to be found and I don't know and that every experience you have is meant to serve your soul and help evolve you that you're as beautiful as the sunrise as powerful as the ocean tides and as strong as the mountains when you live in and on purpose the essence of your being defines you when you have this knowledge, you realize that everything you will ever need is inside you. The outward validation has nothing on inner confidence. I remember at graduation, we, as we took pictures, my mom had this moment where she looked at my dad, them both looking at me so proud and joyous, and she said, we did it. It was at that moment, I felt like I realized my face wasn't a graveyard. My body wasn't the manifestation of a failure, it was a testimony. It was love in human form. I'm the essence of everything they've ever done right and the manifestation of the prayers of my ancestors. I don't need anyone or anything else outside to be whole.